Welcome to the Zoom Player Playlist Editor introduction video. Here you can see the number of files currently listed in the playlist and their duration. Let's add some files. And as you can see, the number of files and the duration has been updated. Next, you can change the order of the files either by dragging through using the mouse by holding the left mouse button down and dragging up and down or by clicking the up and down buttons. Next is advanced control which we, we will cover in a different video and already used you can see the add files to playlist button. This button here allows you to enable and disable random play as you can see and here we have the magnetic dock which allows you to snap the interface in place even if it's not currently docked to the player for example this is unlike standard docking which does snap into place but doesn't snap into place if the player is not currently connected. Next, we have more controls for the playlist. Clicking this button opens the, these additional controls. Clicking it again hides them. This button loops the currently playing track forever. When it is enabled, the current track will play over and over again until you manually go to the next or previous track. This is again the add files to playlist button just in the new position. This button allows you to add entire directories. For example, now we've added the entire ambient directory. This button removes the selected items, for example. You can use it to remove multiple items by clicking the first item and then holding the shift button on the keyboard and clicking the button again, the mouse button. As you can see, several items are selected and you can even hold control and click the left mouse button to select manually each file. And finally, clicking the remove, will remove all these files. Next, you have the clear playlist button, which clears the entire playlist. The load but, uh, playlist button, the save playlist button, and the sorting button. To demonstrate the sorting button, I'll first add another directory. Then I'll click sorting. Uh, to make it more visible, I'll just resize the dialog a little bit. There you go. You can see you can sort by name, by type, by date, by size, by directory, by duration. That's the, um, the length of the audio file or video file. And randomly. Thank you for using this video.